We are in the process uh, of going through a rehearsal of concept, what we in the Army call a rock drill, and actually going through by area and, and just talking through how we're going to initiate actions, how we're going to manage all the events that we're going to have coming at us during the uh, 2011 flood ops. As the operations guy, I have the plan and, and people execute, but to have each one of those people responsible for those separate missions talk through it and have that, that cross talk to make sure that everybody is synced with what's going on, um, it just there's, there's no replacement for that. What we did is we, we identified the, the major population areas uh, and the areas of concern uh, that have been brought to our attention from the local emergency managers through the Department of Emergency Services. Um, so we took aerial photography of those areas, blew them up. Uh, the, the little table tents that you see are our forces, uh, whether they be uh, levy patrols, traffic control points, quick reaction forces, uh, and units that we have available to respond to missions as needed. But uh, basically we just started at the south end of the valley and, and worked through each major population center uh, all the way up to the border and talked about how, how we see the fight unfolding, uh, what our triggers are based on river levels, uh, and how we would respond and, and everybody had a chance to say okay if uh, the river reaches this this depth uh, what are we going to do to respond and everybody had a chance to talk through and and work out any issues or concerns that we have um, may not pertaining to those particular problem. cities or mission so sets by mission by activity that we already know the other uh, I think we need to establish those timelines the other thing I want us to walk through on as we identified questions or things that we needed to further refine, uh, we, we took notes on one of them and the other one uh, we actually established our triggers for each mission set by city, by river level, uh, so we can put that in what we call a synchronization matrix. So everybody knows, hey, when the Red River reaches, you know, 30 feet in Fargo, we need to be doing these types of things. Uh, so it's almost like a, a scripted event. So 39 feet is one of our decision points or triggers for being prepared to respond to whatever the city can't handle at this point. We established a joint task force, which means it has Army and Air Component personnel. Um, although many people have been involved in, in flood operations in Fargo over the past few years, uh, we haven't worked together as a consolidated staff. Uh, so this year we, we chose to lean ahead a little bit. Um, it, as far as that operation or the exercise last week, we spent one day um, setting up our operations center, our, our JOC, the Joint Operations Center, uh, making sure that we had uh, each one of the subordinate staff elements identified. Since we're integrating both Army and Air, uh, people got to know each other. Uh, we worked through different processes and products um, and, and how we're going to operate. Uh, and then the second day we had a facilitated exercise from the Jock in Bismarck um, where a series of vignettes uh, and message traffic was was played from a white cell into our Jock that caused us to you know like we were in the operation and you'd have to respond as as you would during the real thing uh, so it caused each one of the different staff sections to perform their duties um, and it Does gave it us a better idea of what we needed to further refine, uh, what products we were all going to operate off of, and how the information flow needed to happen. This is the third year that I've worked in the EOC for flood operations since 2009, and this is the first year that the EOC is joint with the Joint Task Force East for flood operations. So each year gets a little bit better and, and we learn more things. The more that we can rehearse, the better prepared that we are prior to entering the actual operation is, is money and time well spent. Uh, if we can hit the ground running as opposed to trying to figure things out once we're in the midst of operations, um, we're, we're better off for it. So today was a, a fabulous time to, uh, to get everybody on the same sheet of music, walk, walk through how we see the fight unfolding and uh, make sure that we're as prepared as we can be uh, prior to the actual start of operations to uh, better, better serve the city of Fargo and our surrounding communities.